This is tutorial number 28, and it covers how to use the Mirror Feature tool within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part. Let's click File, and let's open up the Mirror Feature part, which I've included on the DVD. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to mirror this part. Now the reason for mirroring a part is if you have a right-hand side and a left-hand side, you're able just to mirror one of the sides to make the other side without doing all the work ag all over again. So to start off, let's look at this one. And let's say that this is the right-hand side and we want to make a left-hand side of the part. So what we need to do is we need to mirror it along a plane along here. So let's open up the origin first and let's look at the planes. Now to do this we're going to have to mirror it along the XZ plane but first we need to make a work plane and extrude it out to here. So let's go and click work plane. We'll click the XZ plane there and pull it out. Now the more that you pull it out the farther the two mirrors are going to be from each other. Now let's set this value to negative 50 and let's click mirror and the first thing you have to do is click the feature so let's mirror this feature and then the second one's along the plane so we'll choose this plane and then in the green you can see the preview of what we're going to get. Now it looks good we got our right hand side here that's our left hand side there looks great we'll accept it. Click OK and we've successfully mirrored that part. Now let's say that both of these parts are the left hand side and say we need to make two right hand sided parts. To do that we need to mirror it along this plane here. So let's look at our planes again and we're gonna have to mirror it along the YZ plane. So let's click work plane and we'll pull this out. Let's make this value 25 and now we're going to mirror this feature and this feature along this plane. So let's click mirror, we'll click each feature, then we'll choose the plane and we'll choose this plane here and we can see in the preview that we are mirroring those two features and that's what we're going to get. So we're saying that those are our left hand side and now we're getting our right handed side parts. We like it, works good, click OK and we've done it. So now from one part, we've created three different parts using the mirror. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the mirror feature tool within Autodesk Inventor.